A woman walked into the mega church in Houston, and I'm talking mega church, with guns and a lot of ammunition and a free Palestine sticker on her rifle. She was a Hamas supporter. And now, because of the heroism of two cops, she's not with us anymore. Go Houston PD. Claire Lopez, uh, a lady walked into Joel Osteen's megachurch in Houston. I've actually been there. It used to be the sports arena where the Rockets played. Being in the God business in Houston is big business. He bought the sports arena and turned it into his church. It's huge. She was armed. Uh, she took her seven-year-old son to the murder scene and started shooting people. And But for the fact that there happened to be two off-duty Houston Police Department cops there who shot her, she would have wiped out a lot of people. Here's what I find curious, that for some reason, nobody wants to talk about it. She also self-identifies as a he. She considered herself transsexual. She put, I believe it was Free Palestine on her rifle. She, from what we can tell in the preliminary investigation, uh, was a racist, clearly was not all right in the head, but I guess what I'm asking you is, how is it possible that there's so many shootings in the last year committed by trans activists? He, yeah. she, can't decide, my pronouns are in flux kind of thing. And so what do they do? They go get a gun and start shooting people. In this case, uh, this gal had a number of different aliases, male and female, and it sounded like She's been investigated a number of times for being mentally unstable, duh, and yet she's running around with weapons and blaming it on Israel, blaming it on straight people. I mean, what do you make of this? It, it, it's hard to know, Barry. This is uh, another one of those tragic stories, and, and our hearts go out to uh, the man who was injured, uh, shot, I guess, in his leg, but he'll recover, and that's that's good to hear but also the little boy, uh, her seven-year-old son, who somehow in the crossfire was uh, hit in the head uh, and is now fighting for his life in the hospital. But yes, I, I, this, this I think woman- the boy might have, I think the boy might have passed. I already? Think. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm I, not sure. All right, but I, I know that the injury was severe. But so our hearts go out to those two families, but the woman is the strangest concoction of, of identity. So an illegal alien from El Salvador who is obviously anti-Semitic and pro-Hamas with free Palestine on the buttstock of her long, her long gun, who walks into a Christian church on a Sunday morning that is preparing for the Spanish language service that day and as you say has had uh, numerous run-ins with with legal authorities in the past on a, on a number of different kinds of charges but also uh, obviously mentally unstable but to your question there the last point it's time that somebody a medical expert which i am not but that medical experts begin to look into what are the effects on people of of pumping these hormonal drugs into their system when they decide they want to be, you know, something they weren't born as, man or woman or whatever. What do those drugs do to the mental stability of these people? And as you say, how many of these shootings we have seen now over the last couple of years, two, three years now, uh, by persons who, who identify as transgender? This is, this I mean, is ma serious. Mathematic mathematically, it's impossible. We're talking it, about half a percent of the population and it's the majority of the shootings in the last couple of years are people that are born he and now they're she or they're born she and now they're he or in this case this gal she goes back and forth if it wasn't for the two cops yeah she could have slaughtered a lot of people there's sixty-five thousand people that go to services at this church and if yeah. it wasn't for the two cops exactly who knows how many would have died? You know, who are, who are being hailed rightfully as heroes for, for stopping 
uh, this attack. Now, it, it turns out that for the Spanish language service that day, many fewer people attend that than the main big service on a Sunday morning. This was the afternoon. But nevertheless, you know, she she was in there, you know, with a, with a semi-automatic um, and could have killed, injured a lot more people. But, you know, all praise to these two off-duty officers who stopped the attack.